Our next guest is a clairvoyant to the stars, and his recent sit down with Tori Spelling had everyone on the internet buzzing. Let's have a look. Thank you for having me. My name is Tori Spelling. I've been on a lot of reality shows, so you probably will recognize me. Oh, I love your house. This oh, is adorable. Thank you. We just moved, so we're a little oh, I love it. in uh, in limbo. Awesome. No I don't get this starstruck of like actors. I've met them all, but like reality stars, I get starstruck of. Because that's the shows I watch. <laughs> so I feel a little starstruck meeting him right now. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you again for having me. Oh, I'm really thanks for coming. To do this. Um, you mentioned your name was Tori. Was yes, T O R I. Yeah. I think Tyler did not know who I was. Tori introduced herself as just Tori, and then I realized the only notable Tori that I know is Tori Spelling, and then I was like, oh, I think that's you. <laughs> Please welcome Tyler Henry to the show. <laughs> so I want to ask you, how does what you do work? How do you connect in, in the whole process? Because I am naive to it. For me, at really in a reading, I just communicate what I see, what I hear, and what I feel. And it's as simple as that. What I do isn't like the sixth sense. I don't see dead people walking around when I'm sitting and looking at an audience of people. I just basically sit with a person, I scribble, and I have to be aware of the impressions that I'm picking up on. And that could be a vision, it could be a voice, it could be a physical sensation that corresponds with how someone passed. But I basically have to package all of these feelings that I'm going through in the process of a session, deliver them, and then get them validated from the client as actually being correct. This all started for me at the age of 10 years old, and I grew up in a very conservative household. And one night I just woke up and knew without a doubt that my grandmother was going to pass away. And I described it as like a memory that hadn't happened yet. And I went into the room to tell my mom I felt we had to say goodbye. I just couldn't explain why. And moments later, we got the phone call that my grandmother had passed. And from there, it just naturally evolved. I didn't pick this. I, I really think this picked me. You also have written about a near-death experience. Tell us about right. that. When I was 18 years old, I had a headache. And initially, I woke up one day and didn't think much of it. I went throughout my entire day, was gardening, and noticed that the headache started getting progressively worse. I thought, you know, this could be an allergy headache, could be anything. And then I went to my mom after a few days of this not subsiding. And I said, Mom, I think my brain is swelling, and I want you to believe me. And she didn't know really what to think about it. She thought, that's kind of a random thing to say. You know, you have a headache, you're being a drama queen. <laughs> Such a millennial. You know, right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. right. Well, shortly thereafter, I was hospitalized with hydrocephalus due to an arachnoid brain cyst wow. that had basically caused the pressure in my brain to really increase, and the cerebral spinal fluid wasn't able to go through. So I was put into emergency brain surgery, which I thankfully recovered from really quickly, and it went from there. And so do you get these senses or... or intuitions right. about other people as well? Absolutely. It's actually something I touch on in the book, something you see in the show as I do these readings. I never want to scare anyone. I always encourage people to go to a doctor. Doctor knows best in this case. But I also think that people have to go with their intuition. I think oftentimes people know something is wrong with them before they ever even go to a doctor, and that's important. That's a good point. Do you, oh, cool. do you have yeah. a mode that you turn on and off? Absolutely. In other words, you're not, <laughs> you're not getting vibes sure. or senses now. You have right. to... Like, kidney pain over there. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Drew, Drew is nervous right now. Right. Quite frankly, right. so no, I got my doc and, next to me. And, I have Z If, you, if you could read my mind right exactly. now, it's like a mix of Justin Bieber and Hannibal Lecter. You'd already I be feel like I'd be running out the door. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I think I never want to make people afraid. I tell people basically what I feel they intuitively have a susceptibility to. I give them that information in the hopes that if this is something that, you know, they do develop, if they show symptoms, that they'll go to their doctor and get medical advice and be able to say, hey, this is something that someone told me I might have a susceptibility to, and they can get that resolved before it becomes a problem. And there really is some real life applicability to this. We have our own intuition when we're not doing well, and we're not feeling well, and something is truly wrong. And I think, Tyler, you highlight if that happens, go get it checked out. Tyler has a book out. It's called Between Two Worlds. It's available at bookstores now. The best part everyone in our audience is going home with a copy of his book, Hollywood Medium with Tyler Henry, returns in 2017 to E. Tyler, it's been a pleasure, so my friend. Thank you.